All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, Lord willing, I pray that is edifying to those of the hopeful elect. All right, may you be able to build. You know, upon your faith toward the Lord. Uh, I have a few scriptures, just a few precepts that I wanted to touch on. Because, uh, you know, if you don't have the Lord on your side, you're not going to make it. All right. Esau has, you know, put out a strong delusion you know, upon people's minds to believe in a lie. Well, let's say the Lord have poured upon a strong delusion upon people's minds by using the vessel of Esau. And these people out here really believe in what they see or what they hear from mainstream media. They get caught up into the hype. They get caught up you know, into the motions and they believe what the government is actually telling them or selling them the spirit of fear, you know, the spirit of fear. And this is why they're going to lose. You know, the Lord gave us warning of these things. The Most High through Yahweh Shai builds up our minds to make us strong. All right. He gave us this knowledge for a reason. All right. And uh, you can see the levels of, you know, strength, the levels of faith when you talk with individuals and they're in the world, they don't have a clue, you know, of any knowledge of the Lord or of these times. They sense it, but they don't have that foundation. They don't have Yahweh Shai as their rock. And uh, we of the whole four we do. You know, and you would think it's just so simple, so easy to understand. You say to yourself, well, why they can't get it? We know the reason why. Because the Lord blinded them. All right. He gave them a strong delusion that they should believe in a lie. So, you know, with that being considered and understanding, you know that these people are going to die. All right. These people are not going to survive. You know, and it's just little things that um that they're falling for little tricks when the force, the brute force haven't came yet and they folded and they folding. Either they folded or they go, or they're folding, you know, they, they on their way to, you know, unless the Lord, you know, put that hedge there. So. You know, I just want to touch on a few scriptures here. This is Matthews chapter 19, verse 23. It says, Then said Yahabashai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the needle, the eye of a needle. Then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. It says when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with Yahweh all things are possible. And that's why it's important to believe in the true and living power to believe in this gospel, which is which is good news. All right. To believe in the father, to believe in the son. Yahweh Shai said, behold, he beheld them and said unto them with men, this is impossible. So if you're following men and you're following those of the world with the mindset of the world, you're going to lose. OK. We, as creatures of the Most High, all right, we're in subject to vanity. We're in sinful flesh. 
you know, our, our, our minds do not think on a, a, a level. Let me say, our minds are programmed to, to be flesh because we're flesh, all right? We're flesh. Without the inspiration and, and help and power of the Lord and guidance of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, then we won't make it. So this is why we have to trust, you know, trust and believe in these scriptures, man. It says, but Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with Yahweh, all things are possible. So you have to fight each day mentally, spiritually. And some brothers have to fight physically because of infirmities. And that's one hell of a battle. And each day you have to fight. You know, the scriptures say, uh, King David prayed unto the Lord, said, Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. You know, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Said, so wash me clean with his sop. You know, because we need to be refreshed. That's why it's every day, you know, it's always, always, you know, uh, you know, just a, a habit. You know, just going into these scriptures. You know, you don't even realize how much you go into the scriptures every day now. How much life, you know, how much, you know, you're drawn closer to the Lord. You don't even notice it, you know, until the Lord allow you to see it. But we have to be, you know, close. We have to be in the pocket of the Lord, man. All right? Because you don't want to be tricked. You don't want to lose faith. All right, we want to gain more faith, if anything. All right. So through our Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right, all things are possible. Okay. And it starts with us believing and calling upon his name. You know. So let's move on. Let's go here to the book of Psalms. Chapter 23. And this is a very short chapter. A very famous chapter as well. You know. Psalms 23 and 1. A Psalm of David. It says. Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. For his name's sake. And that's so true. You know, when you get to talking with folks in the world, you see they have no clue. They weak minded, you know, weak minded. So easily given in, you know, when you hear them speaking about conspiracies, if you want to call it, or or the under the underhand plots of this government and the moves they make, they 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 understand but 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 they don't they're not sure you know we of the hopeful elect that believe in the lord okay we are sure there's a difference we're sure about our faith and if you're not sure then you need to pray it says he restores my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake and we have the true name of the father and the son. We don't have to debate about it. We don't have to argue with anybody about it. We have it. It says verse 4. Yea though I walk through the valley. In the sh of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff. They comfort me. Now this valley. Of the shadow of death is America. And it says and I will fear no evil. For thou art. For thou art with me, thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. All right. And that rod represents correction. Okay. And the staff represents measure. Uh, real quickly, let me go into the book of Revelations 11 and 1. It says, um, and there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying rise and measure the temple of the most high and the altar and them that worship therein all right now 
the reed is like unto a rod, all right, a measuring stick. And it says, and the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple. All right, now measure the temple. Firstly, the elect, the children of Israel, but ultimately all Israel. All right. And it says, and the altar in them that worship therein. So it starts with the elect. Okay, so that rod represents correction. Okay, and that staff represents measure. Okay, so now going back, Psalms 23 and verse 5, it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy that follow me all the days of my life, and I would dwell in a house of Yahweh forever. All right, because we need the Lord, man. Okay, we need the Lord. <laughs> the Lord really truly makes us makes us um, wiser. All right, wiser than the rest. The scriptures say the portion of Jacob is not like them. All right, meaning the elect is not like the rest of Israel. And if we're the hopeful elect, hopefully that'll be us. All right. So let's move on to my next precept. This is in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are love or loving, whatsoever things that are that are whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have uh, both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and Yahweh the power of peace shall be with you so we must continue in what we learn continue in what we learn you know today we have this gospel through our, through our apostles and elders even you know from their elders okay we must continue in what we've learned all right it says, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and, ye, and the power of peace shall be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me have flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. All right, so I'm going to stop it there, and I'm going to go back up to... Uh, I'm going to go up a little higher. Let's, I'm going to read from uh, verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Most High. You know, and I don't know. I just had these thoughts in my mind before this lesson and uh you know from my experiences that i have you know i just say humbly you can see you know how the lord is truly just separating us you know from the world all right and we're not even in the brute force yet you know brute force of esau coming down having great wrath because he know of that he have but a short time haven't happened yet and that's future prophecy so if you have those who are given in to the mind control over fear of the media and they don't have that foundation of Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know more than likely they ain't making it man okay and that's just the real boiled down truth that's reality that's reality man all right. So it says, be comfort for nothing, but in everything, 
by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known be made known unto the most high so if we pray unto Yahweh Shah, he hears our prayers he answers our he answers our prayers he knows what we lack he knows what we we strong in he knows what we in need of he knows what our cares of he knows our thoughts so that's why we got to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai because the Lord is really going to show mercy, man. You know, how wonderful the, the Lord show mercy unto, unto us, you know, if we be the elect. Verse 7, and peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So our minds have to be in this gospel. Okay, nothing else. You don't want to get sidetracked. It. You don't want to have too much emotion to where. And nothing wrong with having emotions, but having your emotions driven you. You know, like women have this problem. They have emotions and their emotions drive them. Okay, we must know from right from wrong. We must consider. We must count the cost, and we must live in reality. Count the cost, live in reality, you know, trust the process, believe in the Lord, believe in this gospel, no matter what's coming, no matter what's going to happen, because the Lord already foretold us all of these lessons brothers did, you know, all the lessons brothers are doing. Consider, you know, the Lord have us doing lessons for a reason, not just. To teach others, but we must be what? Profitable unto ourselves. All right. So. Let me go to my next scripture here. This is the book of James. Chapter one. Verse. Two, uh, I start at one. It says James, a servant of Yahweh. And of the Lord Yahweh Hamashiach to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. That's deep. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall in diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And the word patience means to suffer. So when we go through diverse temptations and we're being tested, you know, in the, in the acts of, uh, well, in the word of patience, of sufferings. Verse four, but let patience have her perfect work, meaning let the Lord work. You read the book of Job. Job, he had patience. Job never, you know, lacked in his integrity. OK, he, he got stronger. Even though he was weak and, 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 and uh, destroyed, you know. One thing Job had all the way to the end was his integrity. To believe in the Lord, you know, to trust in the Lord. So it says, but let patience have her perfect work. That ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not. And it shall be given him. This is why it's important to pray. You know, if you're not praying, then you're doing something wrong. You have to consider praying every day, man. Scriptures say pray without ceasing. You know, we want to be on the, on the, on that in the grace. We want to have those, you know, brownie points, so to say, with the Lord. So when the Lord make mention of our names in the heavens, you know, he he see good deeds. You know, look what uh, the Most High said about Job when he was uh, speaking with Satan. All right, demon, spiritual Satan, the angel. He said, do you consider my servant Job? 
one who extrueth evil. You know? Now that's props, man. Job was uh, considered a righteous man in the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of the Father. So we got to be like-minded. We got to put on Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, our Lord, he pleased the Heavenly Father. What the scriptures say, it pleased the Most High to bruise his own son. And as he was being bruised, what? As he went on the cross, gave his body as a living sacrifice, it pleased the Most High. So how much more us if we're joint heirs? All right. We got to count the costs, consider, and live in reality. Okay. Not the feelings and the emotions. And nothing wrong with having emotions, but not letting it drive you, you know, blind you and your decisions. This truth comes first. And the Lord has truly given us the guide. He's given us the mindset, the half. Just talk with people, man. You talk with folks out here. Man, they ripe for the picking. They ripe to be destroyed, man. They're ripe to be destroyed. Destroyed. So it says, verse 7 For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay. Yeah, a double minded man is unstable. You can't go two ways, man. You can't go get the juice and talk about you got faith. Don't make sense, man. You know? <laughs> you can't go get the juice talking about something you got faith in the Lord. You know, that's those government churches, the wacky tacky Christians, you know, that don't know a scripture, that don't understand the Bible. You know, government base. Jesus Christ worshipers, you know, false fake God, you know, worshiping idols, worshiping pagan holidays. All right. You don't want to be like them. It's the worst, man. So. Let's move on. This is my last scripture here. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse. Mm, I'll read into it. My point is in 18. Uh, okay, let's start at. Uh, let's start at 11. It says, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. You know, because to live in the Lord in this wicked society, you, you're like dead to this world, man. All right. You're always going against the, uh, the wicked. You know, the wicked and the righteous don't collaborate. Okay. You can't do both. If this place is wicked, all right, and our Lord haven't brought the kingdom yet, and if we're in the same mind and spirit of Yahweh Shai, then we're going to be at odds. The world will hate you. They're going to hate you because of what you teach, what you stand for, all right, your principles, the way that you, you, you carry yourself. They don't like the way you think, you know, especially the black woman. She can't stand the... Uh, the uh, Israelite man that that has his mind well together, you know, that knows, knows what he wants. They can't stand it, you know. Anyway, verse 11. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So this is how it works. All right. Now the Yahweh Shai is made manifest in our mortal flesh. Okay. It says, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai. And shall present us with you. You know, that's important to understand. You know, you got different Israelite groups that are, well, thinking about Sakari, that group, 
you have a problem with Yahweh Shai. And here it is, Yahweh Shai is the door, he's the key, he's the light, he's the word. You can't get to the Father but through him. So how could you have a problem with Yahweh Shai? You out of your freaking mind. It says, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of Yahweh. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And we need the inward man of us, our thoughts, you know, you know, our uh, inward part of us, our minds. You know, our spirit to be renewed. Every day you wake up and you tap back into this society, you grab your phone, you know, you wash your face, brush your teeth, grab your phone, you're checking things out. You get tainted again, you know. You, you, you know, you say the day before, you know, you did a nice lesson or whatever the case may be, you know, you're feeling good about yourself. But then as soon as you look at your phone, you wake up in the morning and you grab, you know, go deal with life. You're going right back into the matrix and you got to deal with the abominable things around you. You got to deal with the, you know, the thoughts on the mind, the crying out for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Satan messing with you, you know, wicked women, wicked men. Got to watch out for the jack boys. You got to watch out for the scandalous hoes, you know. <laughs> this ain't no kingdom Man this is a wicked ass kingdom You gotta turn around And, and you gotta Can't trust people Who close to you You know <sighs> Verse 16 For which cause we faint not But though our outward man perish Yet the inward man Is renewed day by day So the Lord Install our instructions When we sleep You know he renew us Day by day man To keep fighting In this truth To keep growing Keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You know, we want to be as strong as we ever could be when these times, man. In these times. Verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things that but but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal all right so we don't live for the things that we can see today because we know that the things that are not seen are eternal which is the kingdom all right Yahweh Shai is going to bring the kingdom to us okay when he deliver his elect Make us one again on one accord. All right. He's going to bring the kingdom here on earth. That's why the prayer is as it is in heaven here on earth. You know how the orders is in the heavens. How the Lord has the proper order of everything. Well, that order is going to be established here on earth. Okay. The Lord is going to, Yahweh Shai is going to remove these governments. He's going to take down Esau. Esau going into slavery. The other nations going to slavery. The elect going to be made perfect. The covenant, new covenant is going to be activated. Okay. And we're going to clean this earth. All right. So it says, while we look not at the things which are seen, you know, everybody lives for today. They live for to, they live for the glory of today. You know, they live in vanity, chasing things that you can't hold on forever. You know, you're working hard for a car. Two jobs just to pay your car note and insurance because you got to do a brand new car. And you had to get full coverage insurance, so you're paying about 400 and something dollars in insurance. You're paying about 400 and something dollars in your car note. Then you got rent, you got a cell phone bill, you got about food. You, man, this shit crazy. <laughs> man, you know, it says, but at the things which are, are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. So, as Apostle Paul has said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. All this shit to hear today is temporal. You know, 
It says, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You know, we look for the kingdom. So that's all I got. I hope this lesson, I hope it's edifying to those of the whole for elect. You know, just a reality check. Uh, as I said before, you know, count the cost, consider and live in reality. You know, believe in these scriptures. You know, believe in the process of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, these prophecies coming to pass. But trust in the Lord and know that he's going to show mercy. All right. So, Lord willing, I pray this lesson be edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.